I was different, you know, uh, <clears throat> just stretching and getting warm and just everything. And it just had a different feel to it. Um, it's hard to explain, really. Matt. Yeah, go ahead. Mattingly said that with everything this team has dealt with in the past few days, he's he's still proud of the way that guys are preparing and, and you know having to compartmentalize, of course. But what what have you seen from this team in the in the past 24 hours? Uh, I think everybody's doing the best they can. You know, this is something that we're not we're not trained to handle anything like this. You know, um, as professional athletes, we kind of you know we kind of get desensitized to a lot of things that happen, and we, we're able to go out there and, and, and play regardless of the situation. But, you know, those are usually individual situations. So you have one guy dealing with something that maybe, you know, on a normal night, the other 24 aren't, um, or in this case, you know, the other 30 aren't. But, you know, this, this hit everybody. So, um, and everybody deals with it in different ways. You know, I, I know that I spent a lot of time with Jose over the last four years. So I have a lot of uh, very fond memories uh, so it was it was tough. It was different. I was I think that's one of the maybe only the first home start that I pitched that he wasn't here. And uh, it was tough. But you know when the game started, I, you have a job to do. You got to be professionals, and you got to uh, find a way to do it, no matter what the circumstances is. And unfortunately, I wasn't capable to do that today. From all the outpouring that you've seen uh, just from the fans in the city, uh, can you imagine what tomorrow in the procession and everything will just... I mean, I, I just know, like, I want to thank all the fans and, and not just the ones that were here last night or the last two days, but, but those who, there's been a lot who have reached out on, you know, different social networking or social media sites and uh, have, have been there to kind of help us and, and help us, uh, you know, heal because this wasn't just something that we have to deal with. You know, this is a citywide thing. And you, know, you see baseball across, the, uh, baseball players across the country showing their sport. And you see, uh, you know, different news outlets. But for the city of Miami, uh, Jose was everything that the city represented. You know, he, he showed every Cuban American that was here that, if, you know, that maybe you can't throw 100 with a wipeout slider. But if you work hard, you, you got a chance to, there's hope and there, there's a chance possibility for success and uh, I feel like just everybody is at a loss and you know waking up today was a little bit easier but you know as the day went on you still have little reminders that he's not here and, and like it's tough and I think it's gonna be tough for a while and I think when the season ends we'll find a way to to start coping and, and move on but once spring training starts up again we'll probably be flush with all those same emotions when when there's a lot less noise in the clubhouse.